The 6-minute walk test is a commonly used procedure to measure functional exercise capacity in people with heart or lung conditions. The test involves having the tested person walk as far as they can in 6 minutes along a flat, pre-measured course. The distance they are able to cover in 6 minutes is then used as an indication of their functional exercise capacity. The test is often used to monitor a person's response to treatment or to assess their ability to perform activities of daily living. Equipment Overview The equipment needed for the test is minimal and includes a stopwatch or timer to keep track of the time during the test. It should be accurate and easy to use with large digits and clear markings. A flat, straight, and unobstructed course should be at least 30 meters long with a smooth and even surface. Two cones are placed at the beginning and at the end to mark the turn. It should be free of any obstacles or hazards, such as uneven pavement or objects in the way. A tape measure is used to measure the distance covered during the test. It should be accurate and easy to use, with clear markings and a flexible tape. A clipboard and pen are used to record the distance covered and any subjective ratings of difficulty or discomfort. A chair for during the test or after the finish to rest. A pulse oximeter to determine O2 saturation during the test. A mobile phone to be able to call help. Additionally, practitioners should be aware of the next AED. Preparation of the test person. Patients should rest for at least two hours before testing. Comfortable clothing, including walking shoes, should be worn. Patients should use any mobility aids they already need for walking, like a cane or walker, and should continue to take their usual medications. Pulmonary function tests should be performed at least 15 minutes prior to the walk test if scheduled on the same day. The patient must be instructed as follows, you should walk as far as possible for 6 minutes between designated areas, but not run or jog. It is allowed to walk slower, stop and rest if necessary. However, you should resume walking as soon as you are able to do so. Setup and Material Preparation To conduct a 6-minute walk test, the following steps can be followed. First, select a flat, straight course with a clearly marked start line. The time is started as soon as the patient starts walking. Make sure to keep track of the time. After 6 minutes, instruct the person to stop walking and measure the distance they were able to cover. It is important to note that the 6-minute walk test should be conducted under the supervision of a healthcare provider, and the person being tested should be adequately prepared and instructed on how to perform the test. Data Analysis and Interpretation The primary outcome to be reported is the distance, called 6-minute walk distance. The total distance covered is rounded to the nearest meter. If the patient stopped during the test, the total time of standing and the number of stops should also be reported. However, the time is not stopped when the patient stops. Most commonly, the 6-minute walk test is used before and after an intervention to determine whether the patient has experienced clinically significant improvement. Termination Criteria Absolute contraindications for the 6-minute walk test include the following, unstable angina and myocardial infarction during the previous month. Relative contraindications include a resting heart rate of more than 120, a systolic blood pressure of more than 180 mm of mercury, and a diastolic blood pressure of more than 100 mm of mercury. Patients who have any of the mentioned diseases should see a physician and should not perform the 6-minute walk test. Should any of the following occur, the test must be stopped immediately. If the oxygen saturation falls under 80%, but if the oxygen saturation recovers to above 85% during the 6-minute walk test, the patient may be asked to resume walking. Chest pain. Intolerable dyspnea. Leg cramps. Staggering. Diaphoresis. And a pale or ashen appearance. Sources of errors. Although the test is easy to perform, the following errors may also occur. The patient wears only socks, no shoes. The ground is not flat or the test is performed on the treadmill. The patient warms up directly before the test. Someone walks with the patient. The patient is only allowed to walk alone. Someone helps to carry the supplement oxygen. The person is excessively encouraged. When talking to the patient, standardized phrases should be used, as encouragement and enthusiasm can make a difference of up to 30% in the 6-minute walk distance. 
the patient does not walk around the cone. Summary. The 6-minute walk test is a simple, inexpensive, and non-invasive way to measure functional exercise capacity in people with heart or lung conditions. Some of the main advantages of the test include that it is easy to administer and can be performed in most settings, such as a clinic, hospital, or at home. It requires minimal equipment and can be conducted with only a stopwatch and a pre-measured course. Further, it provides a reliable measure of functional exercise capacity that can be used to monitor a person's response to treatment or assess their ability to perform activities of daily living. Lastly, it is well tolerated by most people and can be performed by individuals of all ages and fitness levels. However, despite these advantages, there are also some limitations to the 6-minute walk test, including that the test may not accurately reflect a person's maximum exercise capacity, as the 6-minute time limit may not be long enough for some individuals to reach their maximum effort. Also, the test may not be sensitive enough to detect small changes in a person's functional exercise capacity over time, especially in people with advanced heart or lung conditions. And lastly, the test results can be influenced by the person's motivation or their understanding of the test.